I died on October 21st, 4.51 p.m. It was autumn, it was still sunny out. My wife Evie was by my side to say goodbye. Her eyes were fixed on mine like I was her entire world. It was my time. I heard it said that when you die, the particles in your body, your energy, your soul, disperse into the universe. In that way, it's as if nothing ever dies. So it is here that my real journey begins. No longer on the narrow bridge of illusion, I entered the infinite wisdom of darkness. In the abyss of the unknown, God programmed into my mind the life of every single person before me so that I might finally understand. So, as time stood still, I raced through the world as every soldier, every artist, every doctor, every slave, and every master before me. scientist condemned to death for speaking his mind, a young girl in 1908 who dreamed of becoming a ballerina until she was forced into a marriage with an older man she barely knew and never loved, a fireman in 2001 who gave his life. I learned our profound ability to be strong and achieve greatness and our collective capacity for depravity, vanity, and unimaginable darkness. And then, I learned to love through the eyes of my Evie. I got to see Evie in her beautiful youth, full of life, adventure, possibility. Then there was the day we met. We were in school. She was leaving class as I was going in, and I thought, you got to say something, hell anything. Just don't let her go. I remember I made up an excuse to talk to her, something about her shoes. I don't remember exactly what it was anymore. It didn't matter. We fell in love. But slowly, Evie's smile gave way to tears. Tears I came to know all too well. I could now truly feel her sadness, the fruit of my mistrust. Soon, her tears turned into anger. We had endless conversations, but she could never quite explain. I felt her anger turn into resentment and eventually quiet rage, the reward for my insecurity. And eventually indifference settled in. In the end, I had loved Evie, but I didn't know how. As I saw myself through her eyes, I realized I had hushed the very spirit with which I fell in love. All along, Evie had been a mirror. What I saw in her was my own incompleteness. And in reality, she was as close to perfection as one could be. I didn't understand love until I lived in the darkness. God allowed me to live billions of lives in an instant. In Evie's life, I found myself. I died on October 21st, 4.51 p.m. 